Big croc. Let's swim there, Jess. What do you reckon? I like this place already, mate. Straight under the boat, you went. And goes down that side. There's no way I could get up there into that, that water, though. I can't, you know. Nah, nah, nah. Let's go for a swim! <laughs> <laughs> oh, got him! Got him! Oh, nice. What do you got, got him. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hey. Ronnie's fishing in shallow water, but. There he is! Diamond's on! He's on! Shark! Mackerel! Oh, no, he's going off! He's going! Look at him go! He's going to tee up! He's on the surface. Here, I'll get that rod out of the way for you. Come on! I like the reel. Good solid reel? Yeah. Got some grunt, that thing. Yeah. Oh, I'm on! You a good size? I think we're a bottom fish. Yep, we're a bottom fish. I got a blue bone. You got a nice blue bone. Oh, dropped it. No, dropped it. buddy, no. Oh, it's a parrot, that one, I think. Come on, that's a bloody it's a shark. shark. I hate that. There we go. I hate that so bad. Oh, I reckon he hates that. That's just like a proper downer, that is. Shark number two. A lot of humping, pumping, grunting, grunting going on over here, buddy. Oh, that dragon's like a prank. He just killed, killed it. Feeding the sharks is what we're going to be doing around here by the looks. Good size. No, it's not a shark. It's not? Oh, it's a huge yuck. Oh, you're dialing it up. I'm dialing it up. Oh, oh my God. God. It's a cracker. It's a monster. You want to grab that one? Throw with you. You want me to be rag, be rag, be rag. Head in, head in. Ready? You got, got him! Nice Woo! <laughs> Look at that! That's a monster truck, dude. That is a decent fish, isn't it? Wow! <laughs> Look at that! Woo! Cracking Kimberley Trevally. Nice work, buddy. Thought nice it was a work. shark, but it's a big fat Trevally. He's got to weigh at least five. That's a cracker. Maybe eight. Yeah, come on, get the shark and you Look get at the that. Yeah, let's go. Literally. That's a cracker. Just spear him in. There He's you go. gone, buddy. Oh, that's a good hit. Oh, God, get off of the bottom here. Come on. It's a bottom fish. Is it? Get off of the bottom. Oh, maybe. Oh, look at the head on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bill, look at another shark. Off here, Trevally. Oh, it's got a kick. Oh, look at the kick on it. Did you see that? Please don't be a shark. Please don't be a shark. Please don't be a shark. That's what I reckon. <laughs> big Trevally? Yeah, another big Trevor. Yeah. Got nice him. Nice work, mate. Nice work. Oh, there you go. Look, Look at that. that. Here's another big one, too. Happy with that. <laughs> Look at that. Good work, That's not a cracker of a fish. Look at that fin on. He's a thumper, isn't he? Oh, yeah. That's a good one. one. Solid ball of fish. I don't know about this fishing stuff, mate. <laughs> you get that, buddy. <laughs> It takes a lot of patience. That's it. I think we've done it, mate. <laughs> done it. Well, Only another day. Oh. Time to call it quits. Go and find somewhere. There's some sitting. Park up. All right, too easy. Let's roll. <laughs> According to our map, that's where we've got to go, into here, a place called Freshwater Bay. So we're in Freshwater Bay at the moment. We've just come across um, uh, Vanza Tart Bay, which is the main bay here. And I'll tell you what, it's been rough as hell. Absolutely rough as. Must be blowing about 25 knots, maybe even close to 30 knots, which is not pleasant. Uh, luckily, we're in a big enough boat that can handle that. Um, but as we enter this bay here, Freshwater Bay, um, there's a purling lease just over to the um, starboard here. And some people, looks like they're working on it at the moment. So I might give the uh, mothership a call and just let them know we're in the area. This is All For Adventure, All For Adventure, All For Adventure. Uh, is anyone on channel? You don't need their permission or anything to go in here? No, no, it's just uh, they, they, I don't know what it is, whether it's a courtesy thing or maybe they think that you're going to go and skin dive. Steal and their coffee. Steal their coffee. Oh, and their pearls. And their pearls. Yeah, I suppose yeah. they might think people are knocking off the pearls, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Now, the place we're going to at the moment, they call it Freshwater Cove. Um, in Freshwater Bay. 
And the reason why they call it fresh water is I'll tell you what, there's plenty of fresh water. Hey, Jace. Big croc. Oh, right ahead. Too, look. Oh, look at that. Don't swim there, Jess. What do you reckon? I like this place already, mate. <laughs> you like, ooh. Look at that. You go right under the boat. There he goes. Under it. Straight under the boat, you went. He goes down that side. There's no way they could get up there into that, that water, though. They can't, you know. Nah. 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 Go for a swim! Cock's <laughs> <laughs> uh, gone now. You can swim. That's all good. That's all good. Old mate the croc, he doesn't scare off that easy. This is his spot, and he is not leaving. We head up the valley, and we'll let old mate keep an eye on the boat. Pretty good. That's the swimming hole. Woo! Is that the swimming hole or one hole? That's it. Bloody awesome, isn't it? One of the top pools is an awesome swimming hole and the perfect place to wash the salt off. The water cascades down this long valley. Pretty stunning, really. You know where all this water's coming from? Yeah, it just comes yeah. out of the escarpment, mate. Just here. Right over there. Right there. Just going that way. You left yourself wide open for that one, mate. <laughs> wide open. Yeah, no, a place like this is just an absolute gem. And because they've had a really good wet season, it's, um, it's flowing a lot harder than the, from what I've heard, because normally the bottom pool will dry up about mid-year. But this looks like it's got some a fair bit of grunt behind it. It's probably going to keep flowing well into uh, end of July, maybe even into August. What a gem. What an absolute gem of a place. It's time to head back to Honeymoon Bay, but a bit of fishing is in order first. What is you got some... Oh, it's a big queenie. Oh, dude, nice work. I got him. No pressure, Jess, but don't lose it. Or we'll starve and die in the oh, oh, oh. It's a good queenie. You're right, just hold rod, rod tip down, rod tip down. That's it. Move, move your arm out of the way if you can. It's going to go around those lines, maybe. Yep, swing back now. He's jumped. Swing back around. We're That's good. it, you'll get him. We're good. Steady, steady. Oh, oh, I'm on two. What are you on two? Oh, I'm thinking shark. That was a big splash back there. Oh. Got him. Yes. Got him. Look at nice that. Nice work, Well done. Just hold on. I'll get that out for you. Get the hook out. Yeah. Have a good grip of the tail and then, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hand of the gills. Oh. You just snapped that rock. <laughs> <laughs> Go in. How's that, eh? What a cracker. Finally got one. Oh, well, I'm happy with that. That's I'm a good fish, Very mate. happy. What do you want to do with him? Oh, I reckon we're going to eat that. Going to eat him? Just yeah. put them hands. Shark. Shark. All sharked up. I'm going to try and get hold of them, mate. Put that rope on. And they are tough as oh, hell. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, that's good. Right. Get him off. Good as up. This way. Off is good. Off is good. Oh, look, you just got to be pretty patient, hey? Just wait for maybe four days. <laughs> Might catch a fish if you're lucky. This is really Oh, Salty, old sea dog now. <laughs> He's caught a fish. <laughs> salty the sea dog has his first big fish. All right, it's time to get the big boat out. I reckon we're going to have a few dramas getting this thing out, but you only have to get it out once. It was easy launching it. Dragging it out is going to be harder. Different story, eh? Yeah, well, as soon as you break the surface of this sand, it's soft underneath. Wait. Shove that through this 
the middle of the drawbar. I had to catch the front because it's going to rip me, rip, rip me around sideways really quick. If you come a bit more, just pop, pop, yeah, that's it, just pop it there, that's it. Hold it there. There's the cake. That's it, put the, put the top winch on. You got the handle for this. That was the easy part. This will be the tricky part. You never know, this truck's a bit of a beast. That it is. All right, here we go. Remember from locked up? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you drove over the top of the max tracks, though. I like gone. Yeah. So it's more maxis, and we'll bring the D Max in to hook its winch up. You probably, maybe, if you bring down your winch and load it up, and then that way I. As I come up onto it, I, I hop onto it. Yep. And then we just roll forward using the winches and the tracks. Yep. Winching is a must. You can't snatch as we would shock load the beach extension bar. That's better. All right, mate. Take up the load and here we go. Oh, that's pretty good. I love that remap, mate. She got some great, doesn't it? So the D Max and Winch did the job. Yeah, that was gold. She's come straight out. There's some horsepower coming out of the back of this truck, I'll tell you now. That boat's four ton and um, that beach is soft. But once I got a bit of traction, it was all over. Okay, guys, this video is brought to you today by the Boss Shadow 180. Now, it's a 180 degree awning and it's made by Camp Boss 4x4. Perfect for a setup like this on the side of a wagon. What I'll do is I'll show you how easy it is to set up by yourself. All right, we whack this on like this. This one comes around, okay? Now, it's got these little ratchies, okay? Makes it easier to set up. Hook it on the little hook here, like that. Adjust it around and pull on the ratchy. So that's set up there like that. Then we go around, we get the, the back bit, slide him out like that and pull it tight. There we go. So 280 GSM waterproof and up to 50 UV protection. It's got a light, a full size LED light on both arms and every one of the frames is a full A-frame type setup. Well, there you go. That's the uh, Bosch Shadow 180. A great 180 degree of coverage. Keep the sun off you, keep the rain off you. Awesome bit of kit. If you get a chance, check it out. Anyway, back to the adventure. Where'd he go? We've lost him. So we go searching for spear shafts. What? I tripped over that stick right there. All right, so we're here. We're looking around. We're going to try and find the, uh, the spear shaft. All right, so that's the main shaft, the timber of the spear. And we're looking for a straight, really, really straight bit of uh, timber. And we're using a, like a gum. So we're just following Lancho. He seems to have his eye on a few sticks. You see any good ones there, mate? When you, if you're looking for a good spear, you gotta look for the, um, the white gum tree when it's pretty young and small. And because it's got a good weight to it, and it's pretty straight, and, then it, and it's, when you cut it down, and you take it to make it on the, uh, make the spear, and you heat it on the fire. It heats quickly and it's uh, pretty flexible until it gets hardened and then straight. This one. Good diameter, eh? Yeah. He's alive, eh? Yeah. I'm just cutting from there. That section there. Yeah. Well, my uncles here yeah, they taught me how to make spears, and my grandfather, and yeah. And they said if you don't do it right the first time, you'll end up making it again. Now, the hard part of the selection process is getting the right moisture content. It needs to be very young, and if you don't get it right, it is a waste of time later on. Spear making 101. With enough shafts, we get some firewood and find a clearing to make the spears. 
<laughs> These kids never stop having fun. Oh, look at him go. The kids spot what they think is a snake when collecting firewood. You know what this is? Legless lizard. It is a legless lizard. Okay, you know the reason why you can tell that it's a lizard and not a snake? <laughs> See these things on its head? What are they? Ears. Ears. What are that thing? Snakes don't have ears. And, and... They have a fleshy ah! tongue like us. What Snakes is... have got the fork tongue, don't they? What did bite? No, this guy won't bite. Is it poisonous? No, this one's harmless, buddy. You want to hold him? Legless lizard. I'm holding. Yeah, Should we put him down here? We'll let him go. I thought it was a... There he goes. So, Max, we've got the fire ready, mate. Um, you want to show us, you know, maybe you have like a traditional, you know, maybe, I don't know, rub the sticks or the yeah. bow and drill, maybe, yeah? Yeah. Traditional way? How you do it here? Like this, Jason. <laughs> 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 Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty quick. That's called cheating, Lala. <laughs> <laughs> That's called cheating, you reckon? First, we remove the bark. Mine looks really bent now after seeing your good straight one. Mine <laughs> <laughs> doesn't look so good anymore. To your eye, it's straight. <laughs> well, even to my eye, it's pretty bent. <laughs> bent shafts are heated in the fire, then held in place until cool. Next comes the spearhead. Is that good enough? Now what do we need a bit of a groove and then we put the little diva thing in. Is that the go? A pass inspection? Yeah. <laughs> Quality control inspector here. The spear tip is placed in a groove and bound to the head. We are using an old whippersnipper shaft for this tip. It's going to give it a whirl. See if we can catch on it with dinner. See if we can get one up on them. And yeah. hey, wait up. No, too late. We're out. <laughs> Nearly there. What do we do if we see a crocodile? <laughs> Sacrifice the smallest. So the hunting begins. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go hungry at this rate. Mate, you're like a little ninja. How am I gonna get through here? Well, we've scared a couple. I've learned that you can't hit rocks because it just bends my spear. The kids do well. The razor sharp barb at the base of the tail needs to be removed as it is extremely dangerous and sometimes poisonous. Once removed, you can handle the stingray safely. There we go, we got dinner. Who spared that, mate? Joint effort. Joint effort? Is that why you got two spears? Yeah, we've had a few cracks at him. <laughs> Well, I'm happy stingray. But we did get one. We're not going hungry. Check it. See if it's yellow in the mud, it's fat. It means they got a lot of fat on them. Yeah, when it's... We all head back to camp, and everyone's got himself a good feed. One, woo, woo. I got one. This is the barb from the tail. I see that. Took it off one day. Cut this. Cut it's like a little up. knife, eh? Hey? Yeah, pretty sharp, see? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's got the barb out and watch what it does. Yeah, sharp, eh? Yeah, the sharp. I got one of those as a kid in my leg. Right up there, right to the bone. Bang. This is old... Oh, I can still remember it. I was tiny. That's the one we want, eh? The liver. Yeah, the liver. Most stingrays will go back to the community for dinner tonight. Oh, there you go. That's a good one, eh? So Max prepares the cooked stingray, you shred the meat, and then you mix the liver in. Do you reckon this will be as tasty as Jace's um, honeymoon surprise? It's cake. I don't mix up with the liver, then. I don't mix up with the liver. The raw liver is much stronger, but when you cook it, it tastes a lot better. I definitely think you've got to cook the liver. Yeah, it's better with a little cook. No it's better when it's cooked. Yeah. yeah, most people don't cook it, but I cook it. No one, no one is mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So with the snack done and the tide dropping, we head back out because it's mud crab time. You get some cover. Crab, crab, get him. Got him. Oh, that's Woo! Where's the claws? 
Here's one. You got it? Is it one or two? There's one. No, he only had one. <laughs> you got crab. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice work. That's another crab, mate. Yeah, another one. Nice work. Got a couple crab, eh? That's all right. Done, done better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's like a big, big ginny. So in Queensland, we can't eat the ginnies. <laughs> but here, can you eat the ginnies here? Oh, I don't, I don't know, but I know we can. <laughs> Here, yeah, your crab. No, no worries. He's going to eat well tonight. Very easy. Well, the honeymoon mob have been great. And like I've said before, the Kimberley never disappoints. Introducing the new and improved home of Australian adventure. Unleashed TV. A growing library of content featuring the best of yeah. all wheel driving, Woo. fishing, Woo. touring, wood builds, bush cooking, and whatever you call this. Stream entire seasons of the hit TV show All for Adventure, Unleashed, and more original series from Jace and the team. Plus, get fresh new content exclusive to Unleashed TV subscribers. You can stream it all for just $9.99 per month. Now, with no lock-in contract. That's why Unleashed TV is the home of Australian adventure. <laughs>